All right, we've got our gear all set out now. We're ready to rack up and get on the climb. And this is a key and important part because the way you organize yourself can really help you stay efficient for the whole climb. So as I'm setting here, I've got my rack, I've got my draws, those I had set separately in my pack. When I pull those out, that makes it easier to rack up. Then I'm gonna go ahead and put my harness on. You'll see on my harness, I already have a lot of gear that's ready to go. We've got the traditional style double back harness. I really like to focus on one thing at a time when I'm racking. So that means when I'm putting my harness on, I'm not talking to my partner, I'm not chatting, I'm really focusing on that one thing because it's important to do it right. If you get distracted in the, in the really key parts of this process, you might leave that un, unfinished, right? So, of course, we're gonna go back to, and check that with our partners, but always good to just focus, especially on your safety. All right, get my harness comfortable here. You'll notice on my harness here already, these are some things that just live on my harness. These come with me on every multi-pitch climb. I've got three dedicated lockers for belaying and clipping myself into the anchor. I've got a little mini locker with an auto block. This is called a hollow block. I like that a lot. Store that over here. My reverso, a key device for any multi-pitch climb, makes your life a lot easier. And then I've got a double length sling comes in handy we're going to be repelling today so this will help me set up a really nice repel which we'll talk about later so for some of these other items check out our other videos we'll have some discussions on ways to use them we'll talk about some neat tricks and techniques to use a double length sling when you're repelling and of course last but not least a little lightweight climbing knife good thing to have on your harness so the follower is going to have basically the same setup, but she might start off with that nut tool. And she's got a few locking carabiners, climbing shoes, and when we actually get going, here's a good little note. We'll actually go ahead and leave these behind. I always like to have full load bearing carabiners. Anything you go on a climb with, you want to be climbing it specific climbing appropriate so, you don't so accidentally use it. exactly you know like I've, I've heard stories of people you know having to bail off something and then thinking oh I'll just use one of these well they're super handy great to have great for organization and much lighter than other carabiners but we'll leave it behind today um, let's go ahead and check each other's harnesses all right I see that you're double backed and your leg loops are already those are sewn and mm -hmm. just adjustable. So I'm all my, set. Okay. Nice and high and over my hip bones. I always like to check that. Yep. Covers your belly button. So I always check for that. Nice and snug. Hers is double back. Good way to check that is it makes a, well, if you look at it upside down, it makes a C for closed. If, that, if I pull that out, the buckle looks like an O. Good way to look at it and say it's open. Auto locking ones obviously will look a little different. Checking her leg loops same deal cool awesome. it looks good i think yeah. helmets are comfortable stays too put tight, but tight there. Yep. <laughs> right cool then i think we can start gearing up in the pack here i've got water i have some, a snack i have a couple of very light layers and we reapplied our sunscreen for the day put on more sunscreen it's going to be a hot day cell phone always good for emergencies and again my lighter headlamp and a little duct tape 